All right, so this is gonna be a pretty quick how-to video. Uh, so my mom recently got me this pretty awesome in-dash video recorder that's pretty popular in Russia, you know? Um, basically what it does is like, it's constantly recording. Um, and uh, it's good for maybe like six or eight hours or longer um, video footage. Uh, but anyways, that's not the point. The point is that it uses the cigarette lighter adapter uh, to power it. And as I was plugging it for the first time, right? Uh, you're gonna laugh at this. <laughs> Look at all these coins. So I've been using the ashtray as my uh, kind of like a coin, coin collector, coin collecting cup. And surely it's kind of overflowing right now because I've been pretty lazy unloading it. I know it's terrible. And so I have this, um, this plug out. Right, as I was about to plug the uh, plug the plug the power plug in to the recorder, and a penny fell in. Now, penny is made of copper; it's super conductive. So immediately, I saw spark. I'm like, "Oh no!" Uh, immediately, shut off the car. Uh, Try to get the penny out, and it was actually jammed in really good. It was actually lodged like sideways. Uh, so I end up just like praying to God and using like a pair of wooden chopsticks, and then kind of like fished it out. So thankful I'm Asian. Otherwise, I don't even know what's going to happen because it fits perfectly in there. So I used uh, wooden chopsticks, you know, turn it sideways and kind of like picked it out. And I tried it. And sure enough, like, it's not powering on. At first I thought, okay, maybe maybe the unit is defective. And then I tried like a uh, cell phone charger. Nope, the light is not on. So that means like it's, it's bad. I mean, it sparked a couple of times. So I mean, it's a pretty good indicator that a fuse is blown. And sure enough, I went online, do some research, and people suggest that, okay, I mean, chances are you blew a fuse. And that's where the fun begins. So the car I have is a 2013 uh, BMW 328i, and it's relatively new. So it's not too many information online, or maybe I just haven't dig deep enough. But all the ones I've seen so far, all the tutorials are, are dealing with like the um, older generation of BMW. So I was trying to find a few box. Uh, here, let me just make this quick. Okay. So I went to the trunk first, because I remember there's like a, all the fuse back here. Open it up, sure enough, there's like all the fuse here. And right here, you'll find a little chart. Kind of depicting all the different fuse, um, the ambitch, and then the location. So I was looking at this, all these icons, most of them make sense, but some of them, not really. So I'm trying to decipher, okay, which one, which one is um, cigarette lighter, you know? Some people look like butt wash, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so finally I went online, I um, kind of cross-referenced it with some of the older gen generations chart, and turns out the last item right here, this, this is the icon for cigarette lighter adapters and there are three fuses associated with it. So it's gonna be, sorry, it's kind of out of focus. 60, 66, 69, and 162. And two of those are up front. So let's move on to the front. So once it popped the hood, which I've done already, the fuel, fuel box is right here under, under this unit right here. There's a little lever. And just kind of like lift the whole plastic piece out. Okay. And right here we got some warnings saying that like, you know, don't get it wet, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there are a little notch right here and in the back. Push them together, lift, push them together, lift. And it should come out pretty easily. Once it's out, you see something like this. So 66 is this guy right here. All right, a yellow one with 20, 20 amp up there. And 68, I believe is this guy right here, if I remember right, also 20 amp. So I checked already, it's actually this one. So the third one down on the right-hand side is the one linked up to the um, the council unit's uh, car cigarette lighter adapter. So let me pull that out. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. One oh, by the way, um, this one, I can kind of get it out with just my finger. There's no way I was getting this one out with just my finger. I was like, I was trying here. I cannot just, I can't get any purchase at all. It's just like slippery on the side. And I cannot, my fingers cannot reach deep down enough to grab the little knobs. So I don't know why you do it this way. Uh, like these, you can kind of get them out, like the five watts mini ones, that's fine. But these guys are just impossible. You need some kind of tool. 
So at first I tried like a regular needle nose, did not work. But good thing I'm a nerd and I have like these uh, model ones, it's a little skinnier. And these did okay. So let me see if I can do this real quick right here. So I just grip the side and pull straight out. Okay, here we go. So let's see. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, so if you look here, you see the middle. Like this part right here is not connected. That means it's not blown fuse. Not sure if you can see it, but okay, just, just trust me. Right here is not linked. It's really obvious that it's blown. So since it's a 20 amp, I went to Advanced Auto Part and bought a 20 amp one as a replacement. Okay, let's pop this in. Okay. So this is in place. All right, let's test out real quick. Okay. Oh, by the way, I got a little, got a little passenger right here. <sighs> Crazy story. I opened the door. This guy flew in, crashed right into the mirror of the window, and just kind of dazed. Uh, her beak is slightly chipped, a little blood came out, so I know there was a little crack, and now she's just kind of resting, sitting there. She's been sitting there for like half an hour. I'm just gonna let her rest and kind of get her energy, and I'm gonna let her out, because I think I think she's a swallow, and they eat like insects, and there's no way I'll be able to help her out, so hopefully she'll pull through. But anyways, let's take a look at this and uh, make sure it works. So open this up, make sure uh, no penny in place. I will test it out with Car charger. Yes. Excellent. So now it's back in play and I guess tonight I get to finally play with the in-dash in recorder. Oh, by the way, in terms of car charger for Android, a Ryzen one is amazing. It charges up so fast. Um, but anyways, tangent. Okay, make sure there's no coin. Pull it back out and we are back in business. I'm going to go back and put all the covers back in and I'm sure you don't need to see it. So hopefully this video helps some people out. I mean, it took me a little research and a little digging around to figure everything out. And um, well, you know, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and hopefully I'll be able to help you out too. All right, have a good day guys.